The fascinating thing about this year's championship is the fact that we've had the biggest regulation change probably in the last 30 years of Formula One. So all teams essentially had to start with a clean sheet of paper. And Red Bull is a relatively new team to Formula One. Over the last few years, we've built um, you know, a strong team, a talented design group. And this was a real opportunity you know, for those guys under the leadership of Adrian Newey to really shine and show their, their, their true potential. And we've seen the the regular order a little bit, you know, a little bit different. Um, Braun, that was the Honda team and whose roots are firmly set, uh, who, whose car's roots are firmly set in the Honda design, have done an uh, exceptional job. Um, and then obviously Ferrari and McLaren were perhaps distracted by last year's championships, but, um, you know, they, they seem to be a little bit on, more on the back foot. But for Red Bull Racing, it's been a, an extremely good first half of the year so far. Here in Milton Keynes, we're focused on designing, building, and operating Formula One cars. So um, we essentially have three buildings um, on site here. In the first building, um, all research and development, um, design, R&D sign-off. Um, so the testing and safety testing of components takes place um, within this building. We house approximately 200 uh, design engineers split between aerodynamics, vehicle dynamics, um, and uh, you know, other mechanical design. Um, from there, those designs go into, into the next building, which is fully focused on um, producing components. Um, and they have some elaborate machinery with the elaborate materials that they're using, um, the carbon fiber, um, the different metallic uh, materials that are obviously uh, have limited use on, on a racing car these days, but 90% um, of the car is, is made in-house. Um, the car runs as a prototype in every, every race, so it's never in the same specification twice. So iterative components are always going through um, you know, the, the manufacturing um, area, and then they go over the the road to the third building, which is very much the race team, where the cars get assembled, prepared, um, and effectively set up the final um, chassis set up, put on the cars prior to them departing for Grand Prix. I think. Uh, you know, as a British-based um, Austrian team, um, you know, a, a British Grand Prix is, is, is important. It's a historic um, event. It's a great circuit. Um, the drivers absolutely, um, you know, adore the track. It's a real challenge. It's one of the highlights, um, you know, for the drivers in the, in the year. It's a great shame to be losing um, you know, Silverstone. Um, hopefully we don't lose the British Grand Prix. Donington, um, you know, are working very hard. They've got a lot of development going on up there. Um, and it'd be interesting to see if they can manage to get everything together in time, which hopefully, hopefully they can. But, um, you know, Silverstone and, um, is like Monza. Um, you know, Monaco It's one of those races that's been on the calendar for such a long time. It's uh, be a great shame to see it go. And, even more so for me because I only live 15 minutes down the road and it's the only race I get to spend in my own bed. Mm -hmm.